Welcome to CSA Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're going to be looking at May June 2019 Agricultural Science Single Award paper. If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it is time for you to do so. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all. You want to like the video so it'll be added to your playlist that if we turn it off, you'll still have access to the video. It is also important for you to share so that you'll be having more agricultural videos coming to your space so you'll be better prepared for the exam. Tell us in the comment, where are you from? And if possible, which school do you attend? We want to know that you are a member of this family. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com um, you may also find us on YouTube at CSEC Biology TCP. Without further ado, let's hop right into question number five. Section three. Answer all questions in this section. Write your answers in the space provided in this booklet. The tool shows Farmer John's animals feeding on forage. So if we observe here, they are feeding pretty much in a stall. So it tells us forage in a stall. This, of course, is going to be zero grazing. Let's check it out. Identify the method being used to feed forage to the animals. Of course, it's zero grazing. State one advantage and one disadvantage of using the method shown in figure two to feed forage to animals. I've given you three of each. Advantage. It extends the grazing period for the animal. So the animal can be uh, just eating all around. You know, um, in the past, uh, the feed might not be readily available. You know, land space is pretty much hard to come by. Reduce feed costs. So you'll be feeding on forage. So to buy the concentrate, you won't have to spend that much. Reduce the need for large grazing area because you're harvesting grass and feeding the animal, then you won't need a large land space for animals just to go on a free range. Disadvantage, disease may spread due to the close proximity of the feed stall. Um, it's usually expensive to build these stalls, so that's another uh, disadvantage. And this is pretty much a labor-intensive task as land has to be prepared, grass has to be planted, cared for, harvest, and prepared. So just two reasons why it is important for a farmer, John, to include forage when feeding his animal. Firstly, provide added nutrients. Provide fiber in the diet. It aids with digestion. And if legume is being fed to the animal, this is going to improve significantly the protein supplied to the animal. A farmer who practices rotational grazing observe that parasite infestation is well controlled in his cattle. So just three ways in which rotational grazing helps to control the level of parasite infestation. One, it breaks the life cycle of a parasite. Two, the cycle or the rotational grazing of the animal will of course break the food supply for the parasite in killing them. The animal will feed on taller grass during the rotational grazing. I one might say feeding higher from the ground and this is going to reduce the chance of the animal eating eggs that are probably close to the soil. Eggs of parasites. It allows for biological control as predators are going to be feeding on the exposed parasite. Another thing that uh, we could employ to this rotational grazing is to use smaller animal in the mix. They'll probably feed closer to the ground just uh, exposing more parasites and possibly uh, killing more parasites. During the rainy season, 
it is easier for farmers to obtain forage to feed their animals. However, in the dry season, many farmers experience difficulty finding high quality forage to feed their animals. Suggest so two methods farmers can implement in order to conserve forage for use in the dry season. So they can employ soilage making and for those who don't know, it is using the herbage or the forage that we have harvested from the field and it is chopped, mixed and pretty much airtight. It is stored in an airtight container uh, for future use. Hay making or making A is pretty much growing the grass, drying the grass, or uh, pretty much storing it in a safe space and then later feeding it to the animal. This takes us to the end of question number five for the 2019 Single Award Agricultural Science paper. If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it's time for you to do so. When you subscribe, please be reminded to click the notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. When you like the video, it will allow you to store it in your playlist so that you'll have it even if this video is turned off. Share the video so that more videos will be coming to your space to get you better prepared for the exam. Tell us in the comment, where are you from? And if possible, which school you attend. We wish for you all the best in your exams. And at this time, persons who are doing biology or HSB, it's me, we're offering marathon every weekend up to your exam. You need to check the ads which follow to get a WhatsApp number if you are interested. As I usually say, study to show thyself Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.